The staff at the Heartland Landfill are sifting through the trash right now to see how well people are recycling and if garbage diversion programs in the capital region are working. A news reporter Astrid Braunschmidt spent some time at the dump today to see what we're throwing away, and she's here to share us uh, share with us what she found. Astrid. Yeah, well, out of sight, out of mind. Not really today as the staff go through the garbage. Last year, Hudson, 155 tons of garbage ended up at the Heartland Landfill, and that works out to about a quarter of a ton of garbage per person in the capital region. We can always, though, do more to divert our waste. There's a lot you can learn by sorting through garbage. Like what candy was popular this Halloween? Probably Krispy Crunch is the most popular this year, I'd have to say. <laughs> At Heartland Landfill, they're analyzing trash not just for a laugh, but to evaluate the success of their waste management programs. The purpose of these studies is to see what's in the garbage, what should we be targeting for future recycling and diversion programs, and also how effective are our existing recycling and diversion programs. Are people using the blue box to divert their newspaper or are they still thrown in the garbage? In 2004 and 5, the waste composition study indicated that roughly 10% of waste dumped at the landfill was yard waste. Armed with that information, Heartland Landfill banned yard waste. Was the move successful? I'm pleased to say, at least preliminarily, that uh, the findings show that the yard waste is, is way, way down in the garbage, so people are doing the right thing and, and getting it out of the landfill and into composting programs. Do you find a lot of diapers? Lots of diapers, yeah. Adult diapers and lots of kid diapers. The good news? Garbage in general is way down. The region on a whole has about a 37% diversion rate based on 1989 per capita disposal rates. So we're doing very well in terms of a region in our effort to get material out of the landfill. But even though we're composting and recycling a lot of our waste, at the rate we're going, Heartland Landfill will be full by 2045, unless we change our habits, especially with food. It's a stinky job, but someone's got to do it. Russ, what do you do when the smell gets really bad? Well, we have a couple products here we use that uh, Old Spice and Axe. If it gets real bad, we we throw a spray down there and, well, the mixture of meat and Old Spice is not great, but it's better than just the meat. <laughs> meat and other discarded food made up nearly one quarter of all the garbage in the landfill in the last study. This isn't the uh, garbage police. We're not here to, to get back and tell someone that they're not doing a good job. It's for information purposes only. Information collection continues through next Tuesday, and then the crew will sort through the garbage again in the spring. Now, since 1991, the CRD has commissioned four studies to take a look at what makes up our garbage. In this year's sample, they're taking a look at regular residential garbage as well as some special loads. Those are collected from apartments, rural routes, and commercial institutions. And Hudson, just for the record, the people sifting through the garbage today were not demoted. They were not in trouble with the boss. It is all in a day's work at Heartland Landfill, kinda, and they're doing a good job. Kind of look like fun. Well... It's not fun when you spray that I, Axe I, body spray on rotting meat. Yeah, I suppose. You know, <laughs> it was recycling day on our street, and I looked at the, the, the stack of boxes, and I thought, man, if all that stuff was going into our garbage, A, how much more, you know, how much more garbage you produce every couple of weeks. It's amazing. So I think it's working. Absolutely. Well, we'll find out pretty all soon, i All those I'm empties, sure. anyway, at our house. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a whole other story, yeah. Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Astrid, thank you. You're welcome. Uh,